Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this look you have already seen before and if you haven't I will link the video down below. I just finished filming a full eye look using only one brush. This is the Morphe M433. It is a dupe for the MAC 217. It is a flat shader brush. Obviously everybody has a brush like this and I was loving the look so much I'm like I need to film something else because if I get only one video out of this look I'm not going to be very happy. So again, I'll link that down below, but today's video is going to be a my top favorite glosses for spring. Now, it's been a minute since people have been enjoying glosses, and I know for a while there everybody was super into matte lips, and I am wearing a matte lip today underneath my gloss. Matte lips are very good, but as we get into the warmer weather, our lips get a little dry, they get a little dehydrated, and nothing is worse than like going out and having crusty, dry, gross lips. A gloss just hydrates and plumps and just looks so much nicer when the weather gets nice. So if you want to see my favorite glosses for spring, then make sure to keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe because I upload twice a week and that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first gloss I'm going to talk about, I actually don't have here, but I have spoken about it before. It is the Kopari Coconut Lip Love. Now, the reason I don't have it here is I think I have three of them, and anytime Brandon sees it, he will pick it up and take it with him because even he uses it. It is a coconut treatment that is also a gloss. It gives a beautiful finish to the lips, and he probably has all three of them in his car right now. And I was like, I opened the drawer underneath my oven. I found one. My cat had knocked under there like... They're all over the place, but of course I want to film my favorite glosses video and I can't find it. So even though it's not here, honorable, honorable mention, Kopari Coconut Lip Love. So next up is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 8 Hour Pro Gloss. This one is in the shade Barely Nude, which this is such a pretty nude gloss. Now I did not, I'm not wearing this today, but I totally could have. I achieved this with a matte lip. This is a very like opaque version of what I did. And it's just for me, the perfect peachy nude and they last really well. What I love about this formula also is like, it smells really good. And I know that a lot of glosses smell really good, but this is like not overtly baked goods smelling like the vanillas and the buttercreams, but it just, it has that perfect makeup smell. Now, again, this is something I could have used to achieve the color I have today. Clearly, this is the type of color I go for. And the reason I want to start with this is I'm going to be starting with the like matte glosses. Lately, I've been on a huge kick for glittery glosses, and I'll get to those a little bit towards the end. Next, really affordable. This is the Wet n Wild Wet Ever Bold Hold Lip Lacquer. This one I actually picked up off of a Tati recommendation. It is a little more opaque than the L'Oreal, but it's just such a pretty glossy formula. I do find that you need to apply a little bit more frequently with this. Normally I'll throw on a gloss and maybe in like an hour I'll have to touch it up. This one's more like 45 minutes once it dries down, but the staying power is the only issue. The color and the color variety are really pretty. And just, do you see that sheen? Like it is so stunning. This is the shade Genius, by the way. Next for plumping, this is the number one Outrageous Plump Volume from Sephora. Now what I love about this gloss is I use it as basically exclusively when I'm not wearing makeup. If I want my lips to just look a little bit extra juicy and a little bit extra plump, you see how there's really, there's no pigment to it. That pink doesn't show through. Of course, I put it on top of another swatch so you can kind of see that a little bit, but this just has such a pretty glossy shade to it, and it makes everything just look nice. Similar to the Kopari for me, it's something that I'll throw on if I know I'm going to be out and I know I'm not going to have time to like focus on my lips or I don't want to use a traditional chapstick. This is something I'll use to give myself a little bit of like that plumping effect, and it will last really well and give me a lot of intense shine. So the next plumping gloss is going to be the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Now... This literally smells like Red Bull. Like if you have ever opened a can of Red Bull, that is exactly what this smells like. Clearly, like this is supposed to be clear. I have layered this over so many different lips that now it does have this off pink shade. I definitely need to get a new one, but it is just such a pretty gloss. It has a shimmer in it, but it also, I'm gonna put a little on. It has a little bit of a sparkly quality. 
So while there isn't any overt like glitter in it, like the other lips I'm gonna talk about after, it still has a really pretty sheen to the skin, more so than just a shimmer. Okay, we are into my favorites. These last three are hands down like my current favorites because I have been on a huge kick for glitter lip glosses. And the first one is not going to surprise anybody. It is the Fenty Beauty Universal Gloss Bomb. Now this gloss changed the game for me because up until this one, I wasn't really a fan of wearing a gloss with no lip underneath. Like today I'm wearing uh, Jeffree Star Mannequin, which for me is like my perfect nude, and I'm wearing it with this on top of it. Normally I won't wear this with anything. I'll just throw this on and I will absolutely love it. Today, because the eyes were so much, I wanted something a little bit more opaque on the lips. With some of these glittery ones, they're a little bit more sheer, but that doesn't make it less pretty. I have worn this on this channel so many times. It is just such a pretty sheer nude gloss and it has this just beautiful silver micro glitter in it. It makes me so happy. There's a rumor she's coming out with another shade. I am hoping she is because honestly, Rihanna slayed the gloss game with this one. So these you've also heard about in one of my favorites. These are the Plumping Serum Glosses from Hard Candy. I mean, clearly Hard Candy does glosses well. These are the shade 1402 and 1409. 1402 is Cakewalk, 1409 is Sunkissed. And what I love about these is everything but the packaging. So I did talk about these in a favorites video and the packaging is the only issue because you have to like stick it in, push it down so that the air gets out and then you'll get a little bit of product. Up until like, if you just try and you see that, like it just pushes you right back out. You have to like swirl and then you'll get a little bit of product out. And the reason I like these two is they are very similar to the Fenty, but they plump. These are the two shades right here is Cakewalk, it is the, I lied. Right here is Sunkissed, it is a sheer nude with a gold glitter. Next to it is Cakewalk, which is a pink nude with a silver glitter. And these just, same thing, they smell really nice, it's that same vanilla scent. They plump really well, and they just have this really pretty sheen and that glittery shine. Again, I have been so obsessed with glittery lips lately that like, I am all over it. Like, lately I've even been taking my Skinny Dip Lip Topper from Jouer, which is so metallic, and I've been patting that over my glosses just to make them extra sparkly. Like, I am so into glittery lips right now, you have no idea. And my current absolute favorite gloss, I'm going to consider this the king of all glosses, are the Lip Lusters from Hank and Henry. Now, I have three of them, and I am going to be picking up the other three because they are that good. The three I have are in Presidential, Side Chick, and Your Mom. Presidential is a beautiful, and it actually reminds me a lot of Sunkissed. They are both like semi-sheer with gold glitter. This just has a beautiful peppermint smell. It goes on so well, and it has like twice the staying power, but it really doesn't plump all that much. Next to that, I'm gonna put Your Mom, which actually reminds me a lot of the other, nope, not that one. It reminds me a lot of the Cakewalk because it is a soft pink with a silver glitter. This is it right here. And it's just, it's. this is probably my favorite one, your mom, because it is so universal. You can wear it over anything. Like I'm gonna add a little bit right now. And this is the same formula that are in the Hank and Henry Luster Lights. Like you see how much more shiny that just made this? Now, in his Alter Ego kits, this is the El Jefe one. On the bottom, there are these loose pigment luster lights, which if you haven't seen me use this, I have. I'll link the video. But this is just such an intense shine pigment. These are the exact pigments that he put in the glosses, which, like, they don't feel gritty. They are perfectly suspended, so it doesn't feel gross. But it's just the amount of shine you get is Perfect. And the last shade is Side Chick. This is probably the most opaque of the three I got. It is a beautiful bronzy shade with, again, like a gold micro glitter in there. And it just wears so well. 
This is another one of those that you can just throw on any day. I've actually worn this running out of the house with big sunglasses and no makeup, and I have absolutely loved the way it looked. Like it was just really pretty, it looked really nice, and it just has such a nice sparkle to it. Like, especially when you go out and it's sunny and your lips just feel every single piece of reflection, it just makes everything better. So yeah, these three, definitely like pick them up. I know he sells them now as a trio. That's how I picked these up. Instead of paying for them individually, you can get a discounted price for either these three or the three that are more pink toned. You bet I've already ordered the pink toned ones to come in. I need all six of them. Rumor has it he's working on a matte lipstick formula as well, but if they are anything like the glosses, do not sleep on this product. Like they are so good. And that is my favorite lip glosses. So now we're getting into spring, we're getting into summer, lip glosses are in. Let me know down below what your favorite glosses are because I would love to check out some more. I tried to range a little bit from affordable to high end and I think I did. I think I did everything shy of ColourPop. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.